Hi guys, I'm back. Well, kind of back. I took a little bit of a fall last week and landed literally on my face, on my glasses, thumped on a knee, and because of those little black and white glasses that you've seen me wear lately, those fit right into the eye socket. So I've still got a bit of raccoon eye going on. But I wanted to let you know that I haven't disappeared. Usually on these longer breaks, people start wondering. So I figured, yeah, yeah maybe I'll tell you. Anyway, here's one of the things I've been doing. Now, these are some vinyls that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Now, they've got lots and lots of different pieces. There's, there's a full set of full nails, and then there's a bunch of just tips. See, this is one of the ones that's waiting to go on. And now, if you go to the doctor fairly regularly, or you have to do your um, pulse ox fairly regularly with a home device, let me tell you, leave one of the nails tip only. Because that, that, those meters will not read through the vinyl. Now, these are actually kind of beat up because I put them on just before I took the flop in the floor. I have neuropathy in both feet because of, well, partially it started a long time ago because I have really lousy circulation. And now that I am also diabetic, it got a little wonky. Anyway, there's the two sets that I still have to play with. This is the purple set. Well, purple and pinky blue and that kind of stuff. And yes, if you want to put a tip over one of the solid nails, that's easy to do. Now, when I first put these on, I didn't like them very much because they were very, very matte. And I said, let's see what happens. So I slapped some top coat on, and they have been just fine. So, yeah, there's a couple of the bruises on the back of my hand from where I caught myself in the floor. What I'm also going to show you is the more recent palettes that I have that I have not used yet. They're going to be coming up. I figured I'd give you a little update. Anyway, this is the Profusion Pro Pigment. I like this one a lot. It's so pretty. And then we have the Profusion Sultry. And then we have Adventurer by Mezzy Makeup. I got little puppy on the front. I got puppy. Now, the only thing I've done with this thing so far is stick my finger into that one um, with, with all the silver chunks in it. It's gorgeous. And then 
I got picked up the Elf J. Kissa. This is round two for Elf and J. Kissa. And this one is called To the Rescue. Now, because I spend a little bit with Elf now and again, I was able to get in on Elf the minute they released this for their um, High Point members. Doesn't take much to be a High Point member. But it does get you some perks. And then I finally, they had a sale on, so I broke down and got the BH Zodiac. Now, I had one little problem with the BH Zodiac in that when it got here, the big central piece was bust. Now, I wasn't particularly worried about it. I've got highlights, okay? I wrote to him and said, by the way, the big central highlight. They wanted information, which, yeah, that's cool. But by the time I wrote to them, which was a couple of days after I got it, uh, my husband had already decluttered completely the shipping box. So I didn't have the shipping box to photograph. And I didn't have... I hadn't really expected to try to get anything in particular. I mean, I wasn't really looking to get a replacement or anything like that, but they responded very, very quickly. And, but I didn't have even, you know, I didn't have quite a bit of the stuff that I needed to uh, prove damages, so I wrote him back and said, look, I don't have any of that stuff. My husband's already thrown out the box. I just wanted to let you know. So, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully... Because right now I look a bit like the Jackie Coogan version of Uncle Fester in the old black and white Adams Family show. Because those glasses fit right in the socket. Yeah, they do. With the neuropathy feet, you can sometimes lose track of where they are. You don't always, you can't always tell if you picked them up high enough to take a step. And I fought with gravity and the floor won. Yeah. Anyway. I've got still a little bruising that would take way more makeup than I want to deal with to cover and that the upper lid lids are starting to get that kind of funky multicolor thing going on and ew and all that no nothing broke not even my rotten glasses. Um, yes, I still have a little pain here and there. But I don't want to just jump on here and show everybody my bruised face to look for oohs and ahs and oh my god and ouchies. I've already done that on Facebook. I just figured I would give everybody an update. 
Anyway, that should about do it. Hopefully, I will be back on screen next week. I hope. Some point. Sometime. Oh, this little sign down here that says OMG, the phrase on the bottom reads, Oh my glam. This is actually a little piggy bank. And considering I shop at Dollar Tree a lot, those pennies add up. Oh, look. It's the coffee delivery. Bingo, honey. Easter brought me fresh coffee. Yay. Anyway, I'm going to go drink my coffee now. Oh, oh, oh gimme, gimme, gimme. No, I'm not sponsored before anybody says anything. You may have seen the um, adverts on YouTube, though, for the Creo Brew. It, they take cacao nibs, you know, the thing they make chocolate from, and they, they roast them like you would coffee beans, and then they grind them up, and they put them in a bag, and you can brew it like coffee. And regularly, we put part coffee, part Creo brew in. Anybody who is a, is a chocolate addict will love this. They have a dark roast and they have a light roast. The light roast does better by itself. The dark roast stands up to being in coffee. Again, I am not sponsored. I decided to take one of the, the, um, here, start off here with the, the little kit thing. And believe me, it is amazing. It really is. It's wonderful. would be that and that would be it everybody watch where your feet goes be good <laughs>